All right, guys, what's up? Welcome into the Slate Lace podcast. It's the Slate Lace gang. Yeah, I'd say so. Yep. Well, just a quick check in um, right now. We're going to be back uh, with more content soon, but wanted to check in with you guys uh, and give you guys some quick sneaker content, quick sneaker updates. Mm-hmm. Um, so, as per usual, we're going to start off with a little kick of the day. Uh, I'll go first. All right, let's do it. Got a, I got something that I don't even what really. Got? I don't even really rock vans like that. I haven't rocked vans since like I the high school days. I haven't even seen you wear those. Yeah. These is brand spanking new. Pretty oh, they, much. oh, okay. Brand spanking new. Uh, I got them about shoot. I say like four months ago. They've just never been out oh, the box. Okay. Never been out the box. You know how we do like, out here. Well, no, I know. I was just like, but I hadn't seen them, so I didn't yeah. even know you. Exactly. They just, I just, they came to the door and they went in the closet. You know, it was one of those kind of cops. But it's the OG lamp, lamping. Um, honestly, don't know much about Vans, but it's a nice little collab, and I like the two tone, the purple with the green, um, the suede and the leather yeah, and the canvas. So exactly anything with purple, it's a cop, uh, it's a go, it's a little collab, it's cool. It was inexpensive, so I got it. Um, but yeah, I haven't rocked Vans. I used to be on Vans. I used to be on Vans heavy. Yeah, um, well, I mean Vans was oh, well, Vans is still a thing, but Vans was really a thing. Was really a thing when I was yeah. in high school, and that's when I was on them. But ever since then, I ain't really messed with them. So I was shocked to get these two, but I had to. I like the way they look. I like the low, the lace up. You know, I like a good slip on too. But these are cool. Do you remember retail on those? Um, yeah, it was like $70, mm-hmm. 70. So more than an average van, because it is like from the, the vault, yeah. the van's vault. Um, but still not that bad to me. So I bought them pretty much right away. But like, what? usually vans are now like, they used to be like 30 bucks. Yeah. And now yeah, they're more of like, that. yeah, it was crazy. I mean, just talking about it. there was a day that you probably could get it for that price. And I was saying shuts too. There was yep. a day that you probably could get it for like 30 bucks. And then yep. now nothing's changed about any of the shoes the way they yeah, made they it didn't upgrade the <laughs> they didn't upgrade nothing you can still roll your ankle yeah. in the van at any moment yeah and shucks yeah. and you know even in the high top pair and now they're exactly. like 70 bucks it's crazy to me that it's you stupid. know but they've just taken over the world like i i've, I've said before it's you can find it at any school mm-hmm. any school you go to you're gonna find those two pairs you could be knee deep in in deep Missouri or something, you know, <laughs> they got them. Yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. you could be all the way overseas, deep in Italy, they got them. So, just no matter where you go. It's crazy, yeah. You find those shoes. It's a popular shoe, but it used to, yeah, I mean, it used to be super affordable. Now they're, like, kind of getting to the point where it's like, oh, you got to think about it, mm-hmm. which is sad because it's just mm-hmm. a regular canvas It's supposed shoe, to be something like, that everyone is going to be able to get yeah. their hands on. But still, at the end of the day, with our slate lace rating, I mean that's still a five on affordability. Whether exactly. they go from three bucks to a hundred, exactly. This I mean thirty to a hundred. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah. affordable. It's a slate rate five on affordability and five on looks. To me, I like the little kind of two tone of it. So mm-hmm. it's a little quirky design. I like it. So it's a it's a ten out of ten. You know, can't beat it. But what mm-hmm. you got? Uh, you know, mm, you know, probably some old man stuff. <laughs> uh, so. So, Y'all, look at that. You know, I got some Nikes. It's the uh, Bruin Colors. Yeah, that's um, hard. Which is kind of cool. Uh, you would think because, well, so these shoes came out in 1977. So you would think because of the time period and Nike and being in Oregon, you would have thought these would be green. Now, they do have some green pairs. This is the Nike uh, Vintage Elite. Um, but they've got some pairs mm-hmm. out there. Of like the waffle racers, yeah. That, that nice it, mesh, that know. mesh. That's um, gonna last too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know. That's gonna last. I'm trying to rock these for for a while. That's and, a good material. And what I do like is, you know, look, look, look at that on the tongue and stuff. Dang. When they actually that kind like kind of what is that like a um what's what that material called? I forgot yeah. what that material is, but yeah, y'all know what it is. Y'all yeah, see it. since I just since I just showed you. You know, yeah, it's escaping my mind at the moment as well, but I do know it. But anyways, like I was saying, so they do have green pairs, not of the elite, but they have it of some other ones because they have, um, so this this colorway, which is the Bruins, and mm-hmm. they have Oregon State's colorway. Right, 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 like the, like the college. 
For, yeah, the, so for the elite, green, yeah. no, 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 but they have the, for this colorway, they have the Oregon State one, which is the black. Oh, the okay, orange, in the orange, yep, yep. Black, the yeah, so they got, they got that got you. for Oregon, but usually they mess with the ducks, and it's usually yeah, always exactly. the, it's the green yeah. colors mm -hmm. and things like that, it's and that's, night. you know, and that's why you always see, like, the Nike player exclusives being yep. in the Oregon things yep. and things like that. And those, those uh, run up your wallet, for sure. They do. Any Oregon player exclusive? Exclusive is off the charts. Yeah. But what I do like about these Nikes, and again, this goes for most Nikes that I like to wear because I like to wear old runners and things like that. There, there's like a market for them, but it's a small market. So a lot of guys that go after like vintage runners sometimes that haven't been released in 30 years or 20 years and they're hunting for it like on eBay and things like that. Yeah, you may pay 500 for those, but when whenever they come back and you find them on sneaker news and they're like, you know, the elite is dropping or the waffle racer is dropping and, you know, they're dropping in uh, vintage colorways yeah. and things like that. The retail price is usually like 110, a hundred bucks, you know, maybe 130 at most. And what I like is no one really goes after these things. I like, Dang. like, I kind of like just waking up, you know, not having to, not, you know, not having to rush, <laughs> having to worry about, is it going to sell out while it's in my cart? You know, I just go, just That's grab the, you, because it's a true story, you know, and then grab the phone and just add it whenever. And then what I also started to notice when I was starting to gauge the market and figuring out how things go, um, I used to rush to buy these shoes like on the day they dropped. And then I would find out that they wouldn't sell out. And a lot of times what I would find out is, is that if you waited about three months, you would go on GOAT and they'd be under retail. Man, give me all the, I'm the telling knowledge. you, you need to listen, pay attention. Because um, another shoe that I think is a, a good example is like the, um, the Nike, uh, well, I mean, it really goes for any Nike, but like Zoom Spirit on, uh, and anything like in that realm, like something from like the late 90s, early yeah. 2000s, like Nike Deluxe, uh, a lot of times what I found, because I even have things on my watch list right now, like the Nike Triax that I've been saying that I mm -hmm. wanted to get. Yeah, those are dope. Yeah. I like those. So retail is like 120, 110. But right now they on there for like 60 bucks. Shoot, that might be a I'm top. telling you, you just you just wait. Play the game. Right let now. it play out. You know, let it I can't even cop right now. Let it but, play out. You know? Um it's not one of those shoes where it's like you got to go after Virgil's shoes or Kanye's yeah, shoes yeah, yeah. and things like that, which I guess leads into our New Balance situation. Yes. So recently, um, someone tried to cop some New Balances. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's a... It's a it's the one that we were talking about on last week's podcast. So if you, the three, listen, yeah. if you tapped into that, you know which New Balance we're talking about. They were hard. They were heat. Um, a little bit more on the expensive side than what we wanted to pay for, mm -hmm. but Blair was definitely going to go after him. We definitely mm -hmm. left off saying that, mm -hmm. but he's going to get into his story. All right, so the New Balance 327, that's for anyone that didn't catch last week's or, you know, just new and tuning yeah. in and things like that. So the, the New Balance 327, they're combining two shoes now and they're making this one. It's from New Balance shoes from the 70s. And if you notice, a lot of the colorways got a 70s vibe to it. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's mm -hmm. happening into the 70s feel. The greens, the oranges. Know. Yep. Lifestyle wise and casual wear, I love 70s stuff. Like now, obviously, like the hippie and like the the, the disco type mm -hmm. stuff, I'm probably not going to wear. But just as far as casual wear goes, 70s had heat. So I like that New Balance dug into the vault. They listening, they or they paying attention to Nike they and pay, Adidas yeah. and things like they, that. They pay attention to the market trends. Yeah, they know it's hot. Because they're looking at the Nike uh, Sakai uh, yeah. racer, how they got the double bottom the, and, they're, and they're paying attention. And they, yeah. And I mean, there's some that like, I, I went after the first pair. And I, obviously took I just my can't L. be doing the prices right now. Mm -hmm. I'll be looking at it like. Yeah, I mean. Like Even the, the first Sakai blazer is hard. That high top blazer. Yeah, yeah, they clean. Like, they clean. I almost the, got the those. racer is the best. Yeah, one. the racer is the best. That's hard. Yeah. The first four are like they solid. They yeah. definitely solid. But um. But go ahead. So 
Yeah, so New Balance is really doing their thing. So obviously what I'm starting to notice is they're going to push this 327 um, all year. I mean, I expect to see nothing but different colorways of this right. shoe. Right. Um, so that being said, they brought they released a new set of colorways. Uh, they had a black pair, but what they would do is, just to do it on this shoe, um, now, I did post it on IG, too, so you, uh, well, on the story, so you probably already missed it. It's too late. But what they would do is, is right down the middle, you'd have a change, uh, a color change. Yeah. So this side would be black, and then this side would be pink. Yeah. And that was the women's shoe. Again, and it was extremely affordable because it was only $110. Um, the Slave previous, you know, five. that's a five. And with that, I'm, yeah, you already know, that's at least a nine and a half out of ten. Um, so they had that colorway, then they had, man, the one that was literally like the color spectrum, like that was like, I felt like I was in a color and design class, like I was back mm -hmm. in college, it was cool, so they basically had warm and cool, so on the warm side, you know, it was like the, the blue, yeah, the blue to the orange-ish yep, yep, red, yep. which was super dope. That was the color um, I like. Mm -hmm. That was the one that I wanted to yeah. go after, I had locked in, Target and set we didn't on show that. that on the podcast, I don't think that that mm -hmm. color was out at that time. No, they, we were still showing the, the, uh, the Casablanca, yeah. yep. the, that one. So yep. they had the green and then the, the red or the, the orange. orange. Yeah, mm -hmm. separate though, yeah. So took, well, I didn't even take it. I was, didn't even go after those, but yeah. I wanted to go after those. So they had released these 327s and um, super cheap. There, it was going to be a general release, but it was only releasing overseas. So it was only releasing like in Europe and like in places like that. It was not really releasing stateside, although one place, Sneaker Politics, located in Texas and Louisiana, they had a pair stateside. And Bodega okay. had a pair stateside. Okay. But other than that, no one had pairs. So I'm praying that we get in a stateside release because you already know I took my L or I'd be here with it showing you guys. So the L happened. <laughs> but basically, um, I was told it was going to be a general release from somebody, but obviously they're not in the industry, so can't trust them. But the night before, I was going after them, so it was a couple days ago now, uh, every website sold out, sold out, sold out. And here's the most frustrating thing. You already touched on it earlier. I had the shoe in the cart. The final size available on newbalance.com was a size 13. I put it in. The problem is, is, you know, I always tell people, put in the credit card information first. Have it saved. Problem is, I ain't got no money right now. So I had to deep, dig deep into the wallet and touch the credit card that I typically don't use and was like, okay, we're going to put it on this one. So, you know, I'm sitting here, put, entering it, entering it, entering yeah. it. And then when I hit buy now. Gone. Yep. All bad. Yeah. All bad. Been there. Trying yep. to get my Jordan 3, and that's yep. exactly what happened. Yeah. So, uh, definitely have that payment information up to date. But if you you're struggling with funds, you know, sometimes that's going to happen. Either way, have I that guess payment I information. Supposed to get it. Yeah, that was God telling you you don't need it. <laughs> but, um, I, but I mean, I'm hearing that there, there may be a U.S. release, and I'm hoping that's factual. That'd be great, because I would get those two. Mm -hmm. I would get those two. Um, on the note of other things I would get, shoot. Right now, I'm kind of thinking of pulling the trigger on one of the Air Force One uh, Paranoids, uh, the G-Dragon uh, collab. Mm -hmm. So it's the all black. I don't know if you guys have seen it. We'll try to throw it up on the screen for you. But it's the all black with the white check, and it's got the sunflower on the tongue. Mm -hmm. So I think it's like a uh, Korean rapper, uh, his collab design. But it's for 500 right now. So I'd have to bid. It's a little pricey. Yeah, and I'm like oh do i want to mm -hmm. it's not necessarily in the budget right now but i might just place a bid around four something and see what see happens that. but the top bid is 485 it's gonna happen yeah so if you already have 485 you might as well buy it now at five i know that yes, don't make sense yeah. that bid is too high like because exactly. it sucks because for the buyer right now in the way you know stock x and go is doing everything and we talked about it in our previous stuff is that they're taxing heavy now so you know that's already yeah. forty bucks worth of tax when it's four hundred. You know, Don't say that. so so you know you hit the buy it now and you got to add an extra forty to four eighty five. Yeah, like, are you annoying. kidding me? That's annoying. You really want to pay that much? That's annoying. You want to pay like four sixty something? Yeah, I, I don't think so. Nah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead. Plus shipping. Yeah. 
I might just go ahead and get those Air Max Ones. There's a couple affordable like Air Max Ones. I just have with the affordable shoes. I always just keep waiting because I can get them at any time. I try to hit the heavy stuff first. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's a gang of Air Max Ones that I have saved on my favorites mm -hmm. that are just different colorways that I want, and mm -hmm. they're super affordable. They're like sixty bucks. So I might have to just get a couple of those in the meantime. But I got a cop a shoe at some point, like yeah, I got a cop at some point. I mean, but those Air Force Ones would have been nice. It's just like. And that would have been my first pair of Air Force Ones. Actually, no, we had the high tops when yeah. we were kids. But it had been the first one since the, the high top with the orange. Yeah, I mean, I haven't orange had bottoms. A, yeah. I ain't had a pair of Air Force Ones that since. That crazy. You since, had the grays, huh? I had the gray and white. Yep. I had not had those since then. Exactly. Um, so this was going to be my first, like, welcome back pair. Welcome back to the Air Force gang. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to pull the trigger. Are we about to be transitioning to new things? I don't know if we can really swing that right now so i might have to just sit and make do with the air force one mm -hmm. and call it a day mm -hmm. i mean with the air max one and call it a day mm -hmm. but yeah anything else you trying to get besides those oh oh yeah what it was today the 10th yep it's may 10th all right so in five days the easy basketball is dropping uh oh i ain't got, I ain't got nothing to worry about i'm gonna go after it but i already know i'm taking it out so check this yeah, out it's, it's gonna be a nationwide <laughs> um since the first Yeezy drop, what Turtle Dove? Um, what what year was that? Like, mm -hmm. I, don't I know about the Turtle Dove. No, 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 I know. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. It was probably like, I want to say like 2016, something like that. Um, from that day, I pretty much was always entering in raffles, always going after Yeezys, and never once have I won a raffle. Never once. Was I able to cop a Yeezy on Adidas.com slash Yeezy? Excluding the 700s. The 700s were always like, they made so many pairs and it was a super obtainable. So, you know, if you, op if you did the tricks where you opened up the, all the tabs, you know, and okay. created different users and things like that. If you did those, um, you were going to be able to get one in the cart and buy it. So I was able to get those, but I mean, just strictly like 350s, you know, yeah. all those type of never could get. So I'm not extremely optimistic on this week's cop. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to enter the raffles when they open up. Go ahead and wait for those. Everyone's not going to respond, which means I'm not going to get it. So then on the 15th, what I'm going to end up doing Friday, is, yeah. is I'm going to go after them. They'll sell out, bam, like that. Go they're, gonna, they're gonna be gone. They're and, gonna be gone. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and look at them on StockX and go and see how much they're running for, and guaranteed they're gonna at least be five hundred. They're gonna be a so, five bills. So this is stupid. Like it's won't crazy. be getting them. Want them, but won't be getting them. But I didn't know. The time is now. The time is here for those shoes. Dang, yeah. we've been talking about it for a minute. We brought them yeah. up on like almost every podcast. I've been super since. excited. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's it's gonna be a nationwide L. Um, if you get them, you're extremely lucky, so cherish them. They're but, not. They're going to sell yeah. them. So. And then you just have to much. visit GOAT, visit StockX, and try to get them there. I'm um, not, but. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm not going to get them on the back end. It's, to That's me, it was it. never a cop to begin with, but, yeah, it's not something that I'm going to be looking up. But that's just sad. Like, Let these me, Yeezys, you know, man. Take my L in peace. Yeah. It's gonna be L. It's always funny seeing those comments too. People are like, "Ready to take this L?" Like, mm, I'm that's dying. me. Oh, and then I love looking right after the release, like seconds after the release, and everyone's in there like, "Man, all the bots got them." Oh, uh, yeah. you know, everyone's mad. Yeah. And then here go the resellers, yeah. and because there's people out there that just literally want the shoe to, to wear. Yeah. And so, people, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's exactly. No, like you're right, we you're out right. there, we want the shoe. We are gonna put them yeah. on our feet. We're not gonna go ahead and flip them for two yeah. grand. Like, man, I still got all those human races. Um, yep, you do. And I haven't even really, I haven't even worn them yet, you know? But I literally look online, I'm like, dang, 2K? You could be making a killing. You want 2K for these? And he got them. I like, mean, I yo. got them. <laughs> you know, do you, do you want them? That's but crazy. I don't, but I don't sell them, That's so. Um, no, nah, because we wear them. That's what we're know, really about. We're, we're about, really about, we're about shoes and wearing, and wearing them. And so. Putting on different outfits, putting on different yeah. stuff, and really rocking them. Like, it's not... I probably really won't even be selling anything. If I don't want something, I'm just going to give it away. Like, exactly. And it's probably not even that much of a heat to begin with. Like, it ain't nothing rare. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's it's always being rocked. Like, that's just how we get down. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, 
I'm not mad at what they do either. I'm just frustrated because a lot of times they're going after what I want to go after, and mm-hmm. so I miss out. But but that's their hustle, yeah. You people can't have made, knock the hustle. Yeah, people have made a really good living off reselling shoes. Mm-hmm. Like it's crazy. Um, shoot, I don't know. It'd be looking good, but again, I want to wear the shoes that I get. I don't yeah. want to just be buying the sell. Like I don't want to be yeah. buying the flip, buying the flip. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Um, but that was all we had for you guys today. We kind of just wanted to check in, give you guys a quick discussion. Um, we're about to be getting some updated equipment, so we got some new things coming, uh, and we'll be back to um, business as usual. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, th- exactly. Thanks for following. Um, as always, like and subscribe. Please. It is the Slate Lace Gang. I'm signing out.